Good morning, gang. This is old Marconi, old grandpa on the air. I'm going to uh, do a little demonstration today of uh, my Altec uh, showing the inaccuracy in my meter as it relates to my bandwidth curve uh, results that y'all might see occasionally if one of I post uh, one of my bandwidth curves on the uh, forum. Uh, as you can see in the uh, 5, uh, 25 uh, 17, uh, I think that's it, the Galaxy Inner 8, the, this uh, Y'all can see it there. It's setting, uh, setting it 3950. And it's clarifier on that antenna, I mean, on that radio is very tight. So I don't have to move much and it will uh, scoot off. The fact is, it's part of the reason it's difficult to control. But at any rate, I've got my old Heath kit. Uh, got to excuse my shaking here a little bit. Get my coffee get out of the way here. Get my old Heath kit uh, dummy load out of the way. I mean, cough, get my old coffee out of the way and show you my old Heath kit uh, with an RF meter on it. Don't know how old that thing is. Maybe in the 70s or 80s, uh, 60s maybe. I'm not sure. It works though. And right now I'm setting 27. Uh, one nine. Now there's two zero, and uh, I'm going to do uh, SWR shows one point one eight. And the Z mode shows fifty six ohms of the uh, Z of this load. And the resonance reactance is uh, plus seven, and the resistance shows uh, 50, 53 ohms. That's the uh, R value. There's the value of X. That's uh, through the uh, including. Uh, feed line that's uh, XS and RS. And I'm just showing you there it's mode 4. As you see there mode 4. I'm going to change that mode to mode 1 and give you uh, uh, that was the previous readings were RS and XS antenna which means a method of reading through the feed line which I use but without the feed line going direct at the feed point uh, reading X and R without feed line show still show 7 still shows 56 so with this load in this particular load it's not showing you any effort and I would suspect that should be the way it is. There's nothing strange about that. Okay, I want to show you how I can tune this thing and how accurate it is. You get to mode one, go into frequency, 
and then I'm going to excuse my glove my hands are inflamed this morning because of some work I did yesterday my diabetes you see I'm still on 39, 23, shows the frequency readout and theoretically whenever I get there with this meter we ought to be able to hear something or something ought to happen we'll see see how my hand affects the meter See what happens when I put my hand behind the meter? Apparently I'm covering up something. But it's responding hands-free. It's responding as you would expect. That's how tight it is. It's, I'm at the top of 39 on the meter. And the frequency noise is there, not there. So see how I can skip past zero? Y'all get a clue on that? How I can skip right past zero with this meter? I'm going down. It has completely disappeared and it shows 39. Still shows 39. So there's a, there's a amount of error involved in this use of this little meter you have to compensate for. Y'all see my little ba the bandwidth curves, and y'all never see a zero reactance. Which y'all right there is reactance. Y'all never see a zero there, or seldom do. Seldom do. Seven and eight is what you're seeing on it right now with this load. With this load. Which what y'all see in a seven or eight. And it should be zero. Well, that might be the error in this meter. Let's assume for argument's sake that there is error in the meter, and that is it. I don't know whether it is or not, but I consider this meter as accurate as that amount of error will predict for us. And I don't quarrel with it. I don't get excited because it's not zero. I assume, I assume this is zero. And this meter is reflecting an eight. And I don't get too, I've been out of shape about it. Okay. Now, admittedly, this is not through the feed line. So, you know, that's something that had to be weighed. The question I have is, did Suburban run his VNA through a feed line or was he uh, using a USB uh, line uh, going direct to the feed point I don't know so I've got to ask Bob that question on the form but at any rate I'm still sitting right there at frequency should be 39 close to it at any rate uh, that's about all I have at the moment um, let's see what the Z is. Z is combined uh, uh, feed point match. Reactants combined with uh, resistance. It shows 56. That's not bad. I should be able to see that with any frequency that I generate too. Gets a little better when it's down around uh, uh, 75 meters. At the low end of 75 or 80. Maybe that's in the 80 meters. I don't know. Okay. That's all I got time for guys. It's old Grandpa. Carpus Christi. Broadcasting live and in color on your two-way radio. I hope this uh, video turns out and uh, I've demonstrated a little bit of uh, 
old grandpa's uh, work here. I ain't got nothing to hide. Uh, I ain't perfect either. It's a good thing the good Lord don't provide that I have to be perfect to operate my radio. And that's what I show you. The imperfections that I have to deal with. Okay, y'all take care. So, Grandpa, broadcasting live and in color on your VCR. Oh, yeah. Internet, at any rate. YouTube. Come see us at www.worldwidedx.com. It's where I hang out. Fuss, discuss, and whatever. Y'all take care. See you.